Hi, it's Chris at Rockford Ordnance. Well, we've been waiting almost four weeks for this and it got here today. I've already installed it. It's our CNC Warrior brace for our SAM 7K-44 AK pistol. We put it on, it went on no problem. I'm gonna show you after this uh, how we put it on so you guys have an idea if you're doing one yourself. But let's talk about the brace itself for a minute. So CNC Warrior developed uh, this brace in conjunction with bone steel. And all I can tell you is this is a gorgeous piece of craftsmanship. Uh, steel tubing, really nice. The only piece of polymer in this is the actual rear end of this that has your Velcro strap. And that's pinned in as well. The tubing is pinned into the main hinge and adapter. And this adapter, let me tell you something, everything is just so smooth and so well machined and so well finished. I am just super, super impressed with this thing. It was definitely well worth the wait. So everything is pinned in here. The tubes are pinned in here. The way this hinge works is neat because as this hinge wears from opening and closing, it's only going to get tighter and better. What they do is there's an interlocking tooth here that comes up into the actual adapter block here. I don't know if you can see that. Let me show you. But you see that little tooth that comes up into there? Well, as it wears, it'll just go further up in. Although I don't know that you'll actually see any wear on it. This thing is so tight, there is no movement whatsoever in it, up, down, side to side, nothing. It's magnificent. There are, I believe, some replaceable pieces in here. There's a bushing on the uh, swivel pin, which is nice, means it's not gonna wear on any of the other pieces, like uh, some of the aluminum and whatnot. There is a QD point built in here, which is really handy because this thing just screams to be uh, run on a single point sling. But either way, you could put a QD mount back here and attach something here. Or if we change out the rail, uh, maybe we can put a QD point on there. The Velcro system to attach to your arm is typical, like an SB or something like that. Uh, just wraps around your arm and would brace it in there real nice for you. So uh, it's gonna be really handy. To fold this thing, easiest way to do it is put your thumb here under the adapter. So underneath, grab the tubing with your four fingers, pull down with these fingers and push up on your thumb and just drop it down and it pops out of there and folds. Now, the cool thing, it doesn't necessarily lock where you have to push a button or something to unlock. You can see I can easily overcome it here. But there's a ball detent in there. And once it pops into its detent, it's in there really nice. There's no getting it out of there. You can simply, you know, you're holding the pistol grip, you can simply flip it open like that and it's ready to go. How nice is that? This thing is just killer. Um, when it is folded, obviously you can manipulate the safety on this because you've got the uh, ambidextrous safety and all, but uh, you can also reach it here, but that's kind of awkward. It's going to clear any shell ejection is going to clear the top of it, no problem. It is a little tough to reach the trigger, but you can do it. I don't see a problem there. So it can be fired while it's folded. Um, other than that, yeah, just a gorgeous, gorgeous piece. And this thing looks awesome. So without further ado, let's get in and show you how we uh, took the back end of this thing apart and put this on. Here you go. So we've got our SAM 7 pistol here. To install the brace, we need to take off this uh, QD mount and then the pick rail on the back. So first, we will loosen this QD mount, which is a simple operation here. Just 
painted it looks like, but oh, there we go. All off. Now, to pull the pick rail off, you gotta open the gun up. And looks like that is in from the back with a bolt. So we're gonna have to grab a different tool here and get that off. Okay guys, so we screwed around uh, trying to get that Allen bolt off and this is what comes out, just a cap head screw. Uh, it is quarter inch and it's just tight in there. If you take the bolt carrier out and you take the trigger group out and all that, it'll be really easy to get in there. Uh, but if you've got a short set, you don't want to use ones with handles like this, they just won't get in there. If you have a short set, with a ball end like this, it'll be perfect. Real easy to get out. So, we've pulled off the, uh, the uh, QD mount. We undid the bolt, pulled that out, and then the pick rail comes out of the back. Let me see if I can show you this. So, the pick rail obviously sits in there like this. That comes out, there's a square on the back. That square fits into this hole, and inside of there is this little adapter block. The open square end obviously fits toward the back, and it sits like this, long ways, sideways like that. And what's going to happen is, it comes with this new bolt, and the head is kind of ground off. You've got a rounded portion on top. I'll show you, that's gonna be oriented toward the top when you put it back together. But the easy way to do this is take your bolt, put it through the square opening like this. Don't worry about it fitting in there. It's not going to. Put on your lock washer and just barely, just barely start your nut on there, okay? Now we're gonna put this in the receiver and this has gotta come out the back hole, the head of that bolt. Uh, it's a little bit tricky, but not bad. Let's see what we can do here. It's easy to get the adapter in there. Then you just gotta wiggle that bolt around. There we go. So, you'll have it like this. Let me get a little closer here. You'll have it like this, and the bolt will be sticking out the back like that. Okay, so you've got it oriented up. You take your brace and simply slide it over. And there we go. So once it's over the head, just slide the brace down into place and even it out on the back of the receiver. Still a little tight, I'm gonna loosen it a little. Again, you just barely wanna have that sucker on there. There we go. So now that you have it on there, just tighten that nut up inside, for as finger tight as you can get it. Now I found that the easiest way to tighten it is with a swivel socket on an extension. It allows you to get in there like so and just crank it down. And once it's good and tight, there you go. Everything's on. To fold it, you simply push up here and it folds. So, let's put this back together and see what we think of it. We put our recoil rod in, close our top cover, and we're all set. Wow, sure looks cool, huh? Awesome, folds real nice. And we are in business, there we are. So we got the bulgy four piece brake and we've got the CNC Warrior folding brace. Uh, now I got to debate whether I want to put a 
optic on here. If anything, we'll go with the new RS Regulate system uh, with probably a primary arms red dot. The thing is, when you go to slide on your typic, typical optics rail, uh, the top of it is going to hit here. So RS Regulate has a new one out that seems to work and we're going to check that out and see. But I do just like the plain simple look of this. So we'll see. The sights with the uh, ghost ring sight are very usable, very quick. We're going to take this sucker out to the range and we'll bring you a video uh, doing some shooting and we'll go over there from there guys. Pretty cool. So as always please like and subscribe. Hit that bell down there to get updates on not only videos on this gun but all our other good stuff we'll have coming to you. And as always Rockford Ordnance out.